Hey guys, today I'm back with another review and today it's going to be on the Shiro and the Akai and these are part of Soku's latest drop. These mouse pads were sent out for review purposes by Lethal Gaming Gear but like always that doesn't affect anything I do say in these reviews. Just to get the specs out of the way, the pad only comes in one size and it's going to be this 480 by 400 millimeter size. It is 4 millimeters thick and the base is going to be very reminiscent of a soft artisan base. You are getting two options when it comes to the surface. The Shiro, which is a hybrid surface, and then the Akai is more of a typical cloth surface. In terms of the packaging, this is a huge step up over the X1, which was just pretty much shipped in a plastic bag, just rolled up. The X2 are going to be flat packed, as you can see. I have the packages in front of me, and the designs on the box do actually match the pads in a pretty nice way. As for the quality of these pads, it's nothing really special. It's not really up to standard with a lot of other pads coming out these days. For example, you are getting a pretty stock OEM base. This is going to be pretty similar to something like a Lethal Gaming Gear non-pro pad or something from X-Ray pad. The stitching on these pads is just all right. It is level to a surface, so it's not going to be really bothering anyone. I do see a couple places where I think it will start fretting or it already has started to fray, especially in the corners. But other than that, these pads in terms of quality, they're just okay, nothing special. As for our surfaces, I'm going to briefly talk about the Akai as it's my least favorite surface between these two pads. The Akai, at least to me, feels very skate dependent. So mice with larger feet such as the Superlights or even the Pulsar X2 definitely make this pad feel more muddier. Mice with smaller feet such as the Sora or even the HSK, which I have the Sapphire skates on, will definitely make this pad feel much faster and you don't really get much of that muddy feeling to it. Just because of that issue, I don't really recommend this pad. I only do recommend this pad if you are looking for a muddier pad and you play games such as Valorant or CSGO or you just have a mouse that has very small feet and you're just looking for something like this then this will be a pad for you but other than that it's just not a personal pick for me. As for the pad I've been using the most and that's going to be the Shiro and I've been using this a lot just because it has a surface that is not too fast or not too slow it just sits right in the middle as a balanced pad. I do recommend this pad over the other one, the Akai, just because this is a surface that's gonna work for a lot of people and doesn't really depend on what kind of game you play. This is a pad that's gonna be perfect for pretty much anyone and pretty much any game. In terms of the actual design of these pads, I am kind of in a mixed bag on this as I do think the designs are really clean and really nice looking, especially with the Sakura flowers and the S logo for Soku engraved in the middle that's going to be the same on the shiro just in a different colorway i do wish these designs had a little bit more personality or just something that connected it to soko as a brand a bit more something like the x1 drop which had their mascot on the front of the pad i just think that adds a little bit more personality to the pad these just feel like a generic pad don't get me wrong these look absolutely beautiful but I just wish they had a little bit more personality to them. As for my rating, I'm gonna give the pads a seven out of 10, and that's gonna be for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a pretty just okay pad, pretty generic just in terms of the quality and the actual surface. Second of all, the design compared to the X1 drop is pretty lifeless and doesn't really have that much personality to it. Then third of all, the price and the actual stock. The price is $40 USD. And for that price, you can pick up a new Infinity Mice pad for the same price. And that's going to have a higher quality stitching, higher quality base, and is a better buy just altogether in general. And in terms of stock, these are a very hyped up pad. And stock is very limited on these. So only a couple of retailers have them, such as Max Gaming. But yeah, that's why I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. Anyways, that's all from me. If you guys enjoyed this video and liking sub would be much appreciated. But see you all in the next one.